Approaching the United Nations. That statue down there is on the grounds of the United Nations, where bribes are paid and journalists thrown out for reporting on them. But we're going in today. A new PGA is being elected. The race between the Honduran permanent representative and the Ecuadorian foreign minister to be the next permanent, the next PGA. Three PGAs in a row charged with bribery. John Ash, may he rest in peace. Vukiermich, a newcomer. And Sam Kutesa, currently the foreign minister of Uganda. The Czech mission, which refused to answer in November when we wrote to them, in February when we wrote to them, when we asked multiple questions in the briefing room, suddenly responded last night and said that the Czech permanent representative to the UN as head of ECOSOC just doesn't have time to deal with this corruption allegation. She's got so many bodies, so many bodies to oversee, 49 bodies of ECOSOC. Maybe that's too many bodies. It's an absurd response. What, whatever happened to the buck stops here? If you can't, if as president of ECOSOC, you can't at least take some action to ensure that your body, <laughs> the main body, doesn't have in special consultative status an organization that has been charged with being a bribery vehicle to PGAs, then you shouldn't be president of ECOSOC. Simple. Simple. The thing is, it's not just incompetence. It's that the president of the Czech Republic, Mr. Zaman, has Ye Jimin, the head of China Energy Fund Committee, as his personal economic advisor. It's a scandal. As is the UN's inaction on the slaughter in Cameroon and elsewhere. And so we're going in, here with the tourists. Okay, we're inside the UN. There's been some, some dust up, some, some other entering tourist said the security was unprofessional. They didn't like it. What's unprofessional is that the UN to treat, to, not even to treat, let me not play the victim, to have a double standard for journalists that actually report on the UN instead of just being sycophant no-shows. Now it looks, is this an electric car? Is it a spaceship? What do we got? What do we got? You never know at the UN. Yesterday they were pitching blockchain for the environment. Let's check it out. What are we dealing with? Okay, honor, honor the blue. Honor the blue. Islandautogroup.com. Okay, right here. Look. DPI. Oh, these are the sensors, man. Get ready. They, what do they need? Some balls and chains and surveillance equipment? Stamp apparel. Okay, maybe they can sell some clothes. It's World Environment Day here out on the plaza. It's fabulous. Let's check it out. Once again, let's go check out this car sale business. Red and green. Back to the future at the United Nations. Now, there's the Security Council at 10, but there's also the PGA election at 10. So it's going to be, we're betwixt and betorn, and we're going to need a minder to cover the PGA. We will get that minder now. Unlike these fine people whose passes just zip them through because they have not asked the UN about its massive, extensive, systematic corruption. For the talks on the June 12th, how many exemptions have you given? We've given an exemption, uh, uh, should I call it in, uh, one. One. A blanket exemption. I, that's the best way to describe it. Okay. Do you ever get the names? Do they give you the names before the 12th, after the 12th? It's an open exemption. So anyone they want. That's what they've been doing, blanket exemptions. Great. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds fabulous. We asked the Dutchman about the exemptions for the North Korea talks. He says there's blankets, no names. Anybody goes. Seems to be. Uh-oh. And we asked the UK about uh, the retaking of Hodeida, and he said we support Martin Griffith. Okay. Let's see. Griffith is coming later in the month. To be continued. PGA next. Okay, we're here in front of the General Assembly. The votes have just been... The voting has just closed between Ecuador and Honduras for the next PGA. PGA, a position three in a row of which were bribed by Chinese NGOs. I'm sorry to say it. God forgive me. Eng Lap Sang, Patrick Ho, China Energy Fund Committee. Now, we, we, we came as fast as we could. We had to get a minder, and for that reason, being delayed, by the time we arrived, DPRK, North Korea, had just left. A very stern look on his face. I think I know who, who his candidate is. And that's the thing. There is a political difference here. Often these are uncontested. This time, contested. Ecuador versus Honduras, for all the money, for all the chips. Ecuador, for the win. Plenary meeting is resumed. Okay, get ready, the results are Before coming. Before proceeding further, may I request members 
to resume their seats. After the announcement of the result of the vote. Here comes the result. To enable the meeting to continue. There will be an opportunity for representatives to extend their congratulations to the president-elect in the Indonesian lounge oh. immediately no, following no, the adjournment no, okay. of this meeting. Wait a moment. <laughs> the result of the vote the is as follows. Mm -hmm. okay. Transparency? Can I ask on transparency? Wait, over here, Master. Wait, wait, Three PGAs one, one in a row. Question over here, right? Over here. Then we'll come back to you. Over there. You mentioned transparency, and thanks for that. As I'm sure you know, two and now it seems three recent presidents of the General Assembly are embroiled in, in were bribery cases, essentially. In one of them, the vehicle for the bribes is still in consultative status with ECOSOP. I wonder, do you have a plan to make sure that these type of activities, uh, you'd said you're going to, will you publish who pays who in your, in your office? Do you favor a UN Freedom of Information Act so people can know what funds are being given so that the, this pattern or trend doesn't continue under your watch? Thanks a lot for your answer. second question was how will you deal with China, which is ironic. I understand the Latin America question, but to say how will you deal with China when three PGAs in a row, that would be John Ash, Sam Kutessa, and going back, Vuk Yeremich. Check it out. We'll stay on the case, but that was her answer. We were glad that it was asked and answered, and now we'll follow up. <laughs> 